my lookout for a new fancy keyboard started as I was trying to revamp my current desktop. After getting inspired by so many of those video tutorials on how to create a productive desktop. I don't know how many countless hours I wasted on all, going through all these videos. You know those recommendations keep popping up one after the other. And so these videos made me mostly look like I'm not so much productive at whatever I'm doing right now with my existing setup. And uh, that felt a little sad. I'm just joking. So one of the keyboards which uh, came as a potential replacement was uh, Epicron. A crowdfunded mechanical wireless keyboard for Mac. Yeah, I am a Mac user predominantly, so uh, it made sense for me to have a, a Mac keyboard. But then it also works with Windows, that's what I heard. But then, yeah, it's more for Mac. You have a specific a special key for Mac and all that. Which you, more, you won't regularly find it in any other keyboard. So that's what it is. And so, and this keyboard was also um, featured in one of the episodes of NKBHD. If you know who he is, just Google through if you don't know. Otherwise, yeah, this is what it was featured in one of the episodes. So I felt uh, this keyboard uh, could potentially improve my productivity, hopefully. Yeah. So if my boss, if you're watching this video, then I'm 100% productive already. I'm just, I'm just faking for this video so that it justifies why I'm spending so much tons of money on a new desktop setup. So that's the only reason I'm having to maybe to justify why I'm having a new keyboard setup. So just that you know, it's just I'm just faking. I'm 100% productive already. Let's get started with unboxing Keychron K2V2 without more delay. It's lying around in my desk almost around a week now. Finally, my old Microsoft keyboard and mouse can rest in peace. They have been pretty much uh, seen my ups and downs. No fancy stuff like RGB, lighting, illumination at night, not all that. But then it just did its job like a normal wireless keyboard. So it's time to say bye bye. And hello, Keychron K2V2. Now it's time to do some fancy stuff like RGB connecting to three MacBooks or laptops simultaneously and all that. So let's unwrap this one. So I have a knife for that. Let's quickly do that. And let me see with unboxing. my way I think it's pretty easy to open this up yeah. some small documentation might be easier to look up later how you want to change your keys and all stuff it's all pretty much explained here getting rid of that and then comes the key crown itself it's a little heavy for sure. Keep on. And that's your keyboard. And what do you have? So currently you have another to do keyboard manual. Yeah. I don't need that anymore. And then I'm supposed to also have a USB cable because this is powered using USB. There is a cover coming along with it which is maybe good for protecting it against dust and all that so it's good. Just keep it aside right now. That's your keyboard. Looks pretty neat and compact. It's called the 75% compact keyboard. It has 84 keys. So that's my keyboard replacing my Microsoft one. It looks fancy. What do we have otherwise? I just have some more keys uh, which can be replaced. Maybe this escape key has a similar kind of an escape with not this orange color, but then pretty fancy there. And I have a command key which is uh, 
pretty much needed for Mac users. It's more, the layout is similar to a Mac user keyboard, so that's what I have. And this is my USB-C cable. So charging, once charged, I think it runs for around 72 hours. That's my key. That's what I have, and then this is to remove your keys in case you need to replace something, you have the key remover here. So that's all what, what we have right now. Just that's pretty much what I have to unbox here. So that's my keyboard. Let's switch it on and see how it works. Now let's do the Bluetooth test. Now I'm connected through the USB, but then there are buttons which you need to toggle to make that Bluetooth available, which is more towards the right hand side, left hand side actually. There is a Bluetooth off and uh, I think USB, that's the third one. So I have moved now with to the Bluetooth. Let's see whether it's detecting the Bluetooth, so I'm going to the Bluetooth section, Bluetooth preferences, and it's searching for, that's strange, I don't see the Bluetooth option, turn it on, let's see, mm-hmm, so that's a bummer, I don't know what went wrong there. Oh, it's very tough to type with this uh, because the keyboard layout is new but then it feels very soft right now so that's a good part. So then let me try out to enable the ground. So feels so good this keyboard feels so good but then I don't know how to connect to a Bluetooth is there a way you can do it okay switch to the Bluetooth option which says hold the function plus one keys until the Bluetooth indicator flashes on and turn off your Bluetooth okay so that maybe that's what I'm missing function should I keep it pressed or something yeah okay got it it's worthy function one is what you need to do and then do connect that's it back i'm going to get rid of the wired one and let me see if it's working or not it works and it's really good feels so good but then i need to get used to this typing now because it its layout is a little different and I'm used to some old kind of layouts. So I'll have to maybe look and type for the time being because keys are layout is a little different. But otherwise this 
keyboard feels so different i would say in conclusion i have mixed feelings about kikron k2 v2 um, right now i think i need to get used to it a little more before i can say how comfortable i am i'll start feeling about it working with it programming with it but then the initial impressions uh, are pretty good in terms of how the keys felt uh, uh, compared to whatever i had been using earlier and then also the bluetooth connectivity was solid uh, i had that initial hiccups during the beginning but then it was sorted after that it, it was a breeze connecting and uh, the rgb felt uh, like a new addition to whatever i had been using earlier at least at night if i'm using it it it, it feels different compared to a normal keyboard maybe it's uh, more valid for a gamer or something but then yeah, programmer can also have an rgb right along with this so that's a value addition uh, at least a good addition to a keyboard which is wireless plus uh, usb connectivity is also good because that's something which is needed because the rgb is gonna juice the juice is going to go out pretty fast because of the if you're, you're keeping these rgbs always on then connectivity USB-C is a good addition so otherwise I felt uh, that's also a good addition to um, to the overall connectivity but then um, otherwise I have to choose between let's say this uh, Keychron with a uh, Logitech MX keys keyboard th those were the two choices I was looking into but then I think I made the right choice at the end maybe I have made, saved a bit by choosing this and maybe I can invest that into a kind of a key mouse like um, a Logitech Master 3 or something which will work well in tandem with this keyboard so that's what I'll be maybe using it uh, because that also has comes with connectivity with three devices this also comes with connectivity with three devices so that will be a good uh, Good addition along with it so i would say so th those are my feelings about this background right now but then to summarize i don't think uh, your programming productivity is going to increase any bit by maybe uh, in having any keyboard like this it's going to remain it's not i, I would say it's not going to improve or something by just having an updated uh, desktop setup it's just whatever gear that you're working with already is I would say enough if it's not already dying or it's already dead so I would say invest wisely on these kind of things if you really have some money lying around here and there where you can think of investing in your gadgets like this then go ahead and invest otherwise spend your money wisely that's it from my end about the ski crown keyboard maybe I, i'll come back with more updates once i have started using it maybe for a for a week or two maybe i'll update about how it's functioning so until the next time it's bye from me